come to the peninsula. Hi Tech Airport, Hong Kong, home of Cathay Pacific Airways for over 35 years. It's the hub of the Cathay Wheel, and it's here with a fleet of TriStar jet aircraft and Boeing 747s arrive from 26 different cities covering 16 different countries. On four different continents, and all of them with the same high standards of cafe service, and that applies anywhere in the network, whether it's a town office, reservations office, at an airport, or an aeroplane, Cafe Pacific prides itself on personal service. Okay, sir. Well, anyway, the 12A is now confirmed to you on the 6200 and the 6201 from Bahrain to London. Now, it's a reservation system known as Cupid, through which a passenger has the ability to book a specific seat up to 180 days before departure. It's linked to 27 cities within the Cathay Flight Network. Apart from flight bookings, Cupid can handle details for car rentals, hotel accommodation, and even local weather reports. Yes, when would you like to travel? That first class. Now, Cathay is also well known for its rapid check-in service for first class and business class. Which Cathay Pacific passengers expect and get, whether the destination is Kuala Lumpur, Osaka, Jakarta, or Perth, Australia, or indeed any one of 26 cities. Cathay make 400 flights a week, and each one gets the same service, attention to detail, and care. Hello. I'm going to Vancouver. Vancouver. Oh, you have any baggage to Just this. Businessmen often prefer to travel Marco Polo class. After all, it's designed specifically for their requirements. In fact, Cathay features high on the list of preferred airlines in business travel surveys. The specially designed seats, the extra space, and the understanding of a businessman's need for peace and quiet all add up to a business class that works. Drinks are complimentary, the wines are French, and travellers in this section get the same baggage allowance as first-class passengers. A well-travelled Cathay Pacific route is London to Hong Kong. At both ends, passengers appreciate the range of services available for easier travel and for easier flight connections to just about anywhere in the world. But being the best isn't always enough, and Cathay know that to get to the top, you have to work hard, and to stay there, you have to work even harder. In the UK, Cathay's handling agent handles a good number of other airlines, but with close liaison, Cathay get what they want and what the passenger deserves. That includes not just the only non-stop London to Hong Kong flight, but on-time departures and an excellent first-class lounge at Gatwick. However, this feeling for the passenger isn't new. For Cathay, it started a long time ago. From strongly traditional beginnings, Cathay Pacific has developed into a truly international concern. Its personnel comes from not only the Orient, but Europe, Asia, and Australia. The cabin attendants are selected from nine different Oriental countries, speaking nine different languages, as well as English. While the pilots, the men who are ultimately in charge, are from Britain, New Zealand, and more than a fair sprinkling from Australia. I've been a pilot with Cathay for just coming up to 15 years and um, captain with them for over 12 years. And now you're in charge of, when you get in one of those aeroplanes, you're in charge of something like 50 million pounds worth of 747. What's the most important consideration? Well, the most important consideration is the passengers. The passengers are our bread and butter and without the passengers there would be no need for myself or the aeroplane. 
Hashtag Airport, nerve center of Cathay Pacific. Because although Cathay's roots now stretch from Europe all the way across to North America and the Southeast Asia in between, Kai Tak Airport, Hong Kong, is still home. Behind me, just one of their fleet of 747s. 50 million pounds worth of aircraft sporting shiny Rolls-Royce engines. Like all the other aeroplanes used by Cathay Pacific. Because unlike any other airline, Cathay used Rolls-Royce engines exclusively. Cathay prides itself on not only Rolls-Royce engines, but Rolls-Royce service. And with the best will in the world, that doesn't come naturally. Not even in the East. It's got to be taught. It's every girl's dream to be in a glamorous job, like being a model or an actress or a stewardess. Yeah. And I think being a stewardess is very exciting. <laughs> I thought it was. <laughs> I still think it is. Um, because of the experience. Traveling, traveling, meeting people in all walks of life, um, it's not a routine job. Being a purser, you look after a cabin uh, in the aircraft, and senior pursers like myself, we either look after the first class or the business class. Is that fun? Yes, it's a lot of fun. You get to meet all sorts of different kinds of passengers, and it's a very rewarding thing for us. And what happens is not only intensive training for cabin attendants, but a standard of service second to none, right? And food, well, let Sandra tell you. Food on board is taken for granted, but its planning and preparation is as precise as anything else on a cafe flight. In Hong Kong, meals are specially prepared for Cafe Pacific by its sister company, Swire Air Caterers Limited. The company daily prepares between 15 and 20,000 meals for Cafe Pacific and for 27 other major airlines. It's not easy to maintain freshness, flavor, and individuality on such a massive scale, but by keeping its kitchens open 24 hours a day, and by using military precision, Swire Air caterers maintain the highest possible standards. Cafe is justifiably proud of its service record. Today, with a new and expanding network stretching further and further afield, it must not only hold on to what was in the past, but improve it hone it, make it better, and that's what the Passenger Service Department hopes to achieve. Okay, did you care for lobster in Madarium? Very much, it looks absolutely delicious. The lobster's real, the service is real, even the champagne is real. The only thing is we're not 35,000 feet up. The reason being that Cafe Pacific wouldn't allow a film crew or anyone or anything to disturb their passengers. Cheers. That looks so good. And behind the scenes, where there's no lobster medallion and no champagne, there's the invisible face of Cathay's success, cargo. Cathay Pacific are the only British airline to operate a 747 freighter that can carry up to 100 tons at any one time. Hong Kong survives and indeed thrives on its ability to export. But export isn't Hong Kong's only side. Hong Kong represents the best of Asia. Cafe 
Pacific ran an advertisement in the UK. It said, Cathay Pacific, make it simple. And that's what it's all about. Reviewing procedures, reviewing the products, looking to make improvements that for the passengers will make flying Cathay Pacific a better and simpler experience. And of course, the non-stop London to Hong Kong is the epitome of airline simplicity. But I'll let Sandra have the final word. It's a tourist haven, it's a little bit of Britain in China, and it's a thriving business centre and live with industry and ideas and the people power to carry them out. Cathay Pacific has grown up with Hong Kong. It's the home-based airline, Hong Kong's own, and it reflects everything this island has to offer. Could you ask more of your airline?